Tasmania's Aboriginal history is written into the landscape. Many thousands of generations of stories, connections and traditions represented by thick layers of heritage left by our ancestors. The cultural landscapes of the west coast of Tasmania provides Aborigines with strong physical and spiritual links, a pathway to maintain culture and a backdrop for teaching the traditions of our people. The land provides the very essence of our identity. It provides us with the resources to engage in a continuation of our culture and to ensure a future, a passing of cultural knowledge. From the mountains to the oceans, through the valleys to the open plains, like the many rivers and creeks that weave across our island, Aboriginal heritage across the west coast is etched deeply into place. Aboriginal heritage sites provide much more than just details of the one aspect of a place. While a midden site may tell the story of a gathering, of food resources and of the natural wealth of a particular place, they also help guide the Aboriginal story of a landscape. The connection of the West Coast heritage sites to inland sites, stone quarry sites, waterways, caves and even hunting grounds can help tell the story of an Aboriginal journey across country and through seasons. These sites as a collective can show us the ancient travel routes to the gathering places, ceremonial places and places of trade. The journey of learning about the West Coast itself is guided by the many heritage sites layered across the region. Without our heritage and the precious landscape in which it is cradled, we diminish our ability to teach traditional aspects of our culture and the history of Aboriginal Tasmania. The west coast of Tasmania showcases some of the most magnificent Aboriginal heritage and cultural values not matched anywhere else in Australia. The landscape tells the story of an ancient people and shows the footprint of passing of knowledge, of valuing the land and all it can provide. It describes the nurturing of thousands of generations of people without the need of harsh manipulation of the land. Aboriginal people hold a deep understanding of how important this landscape is, not just for the telling of our history, but for the security of our cultural future. Aboriginal heritage on the west coast of Tasmania and in all places should be respected for the value it brings to telling a full history of Tasmania. Instead, we have a Tasmanian government reopening tracks to allow four-wheel drives to trash Aboriginal heritage, to scar the landscapes and destroy the natural values in a place that the rest of the world has recognised for its significant cultural and natural values. The government wants to cater to quad bike and four-wheel drive adventurers from far and wide. And while these people may leave a small profit in the local economy, they take a much larger sum from the Aboriginal community. The destruction of Aboriginal heritage, which cannot be replaced, and from the muddied imprint of a four-wheel drive tyre tread, may no longer tell the story of the history of our island.